What is going on guys? Twinstinct here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm just gonna run through the updates after the mobile release and uh, all the patches and all the updates. I found a great source here to run through all of this, so let's get started. Pokemon Unite has been updated to support both Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. You can now enjoy Unite Battle together with friends no matter which platform you play on. Absolutely brilliant. Been waiting for this for ages and much larger player base. You can play with more friends, more family. What could be better than that? In addition, by linking your account, you can use the same save data for both Nintendo Switch and mobile devices, making it possible to enjoy Unite at home and on the go. So yeah, you can link your account. You can use the same account that you use on the Switch for the mobile, which is very, very handy. Over 5 million pre-registrations reached, so everyone who plays the mobile version of the game will receive EOS tickets, Unite Licensed Pikachu, Festival Style Pikachu, as gifts for reaching this pre-registration milestone. So Pikachu is a beast, it's a very very strong Pokemon, I would definitely recommend giving that a try if you are new to the game, because it's pretty easy Pokemon to get to grips with when you're just starting out. So new battle pass, Galactic Ghost. This new battle pass features space themed items straight out of a galaxy full of twinkling stars. Yeah, it looks quite good. Um, not as much in it as the other battle pass. I think it's the same price, so uh, quite interesting. Um, but yeah, definitely some good stuff in there. A couple of skins for your Pokemon. Um, one for Lucario, one for Gengar, I believe. And yeah, looks pretty decent. So there's a new feature, Unite Squads. So I did play around with this a little bit yesterday. I think that you can have up to 30 people in a squad. And uh, yeah, I need to look more into that, but looks like a pretty cool addition to the game once I look into it a bit more. Okay, other updates. Special missions added to receive the Unite license for Zera Aura. Interesting, because I think that was given to the Switch players at the start. New event added for held items. New battle guide feature added to the game. New spectate feature added to the game. That'll be interesting. Good job accolades can now be given during battle. New offline mode feature added to the Nintendo Switch version. Shop updated, bugs fixed, text issues fixed, UI adjusted, and changes made to some trainer fashion item designs. Now I did play a few matches yesterday and uh, they've definitely upgraded the graphics. It looks uh, very quite different to be honest, but in a good way. Like it's, They've definitely made a good effort to um, upgrade the interface and the gameplay. So I think it's heading in the right direction, which is great. Okay, so the bit we've all been waiting for, changes have been made to some Pokemon stats and moves to adjust the balance of Unite battles. So starting off with Absol, Night Slash, cooldown reduced, area of effect adjusted. Absol Sucker Punch, cooldown reduced, duration of unstoppable condition while move is in use increased. So Absol has been buffed quite heavily there, we might see speedsters come into the meta a little bit more. And the next one we're going to go through is Zera Aura, so Slash. Number of attacks decreased, damage of each attack increased. Interesting, they've decreased the number of attacks, but increased the damage each attack does. So, interesting one there. Zera Aura Spark. Lengthen the time allowed between uses to make the move easier to use. The number of attacks in the Wild Charge combo will now increase, even if the player performs a basic attack while using Spark. So, Wild Charge then. Cooldown reduced, damage taken by the user while this move is in use reduced. Zero Aura's got quite a hefty buff there. I think we're going to see this come in. It was so powerful anyway, especially with the discharge ability. I thought that might get a nerf, but it just seems like Zero Aura's been buffed through the roof and they want speedsters to be in the meta a bit more, I'm sure. We're going to start seeing that even more now. Charizard then, another Pokemon that's got massive buffs. Fire Punch, target affected by the burn adjusted. Flamethrower, movement speed increase strengthened. So another buff for Charizard. Fire Blast, cooldown reduced. And then Charizard Unite move, Seismic Slam. This move has been changed to the following. Has the user grab a Pokemon from the opposing team and slam it onto the ground from the air. For a short time afterward, the user can move freely over obstacles. While this Unite move is being used, the user's basic attack deals increased damage and leaves opposing Pokemon burned. In addition, when the user deals damage to an opposing Pokemon, the user recovers HP. So that's quite a change. I think Charizard's Unite move used to do the slam at the end of the uh, Unite move or whenever, but now it does it at the start and then you have the 
other effects. It just seems to have had a massive buff. R recovering HP when you're doing damage, that is going to be very, very strong now. And the charge rate for, to use the Unite move has been decreased, so you're going to use it more often, and it's very OP anyway, that Unite move. I think Charizard is going to come into the meta a lot more now. We're going to see a lot more of those about. Okay, Venusaur, another Pokemon with a few buffs. Giga Drain, damage reduction increased. Venusaur Petal Dance, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased, cooldown reduced, movement speed increased, strengthened. So Giga Drain Petal Dance, Venusaur builds are going to love this, love these updates for Venusaur. Okay, here's my main now then, Cinderace, Pyro Ball, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased, cooldown reduced, and Flame Charge, cooldown reduced as well. So Cinderace has been buffed quite a bit, and that makes me happy because I'm now maining that for my team. And the Unite move fixed a bug that occurred when the move fails to activate. Blaze ability effect timing adjusted. So Cinderace, it just like ironed out any deficiencies with it and buffed those two moves, which does make me very happy because I'm now using that. And play in my five stack okay talonflame then attack increased another speedster with buffs so talonflame zero aura and absol buff so but yeah like i was saying speedsters are going to come into it a lot more i think fly cooldown reduced aerial movement speed increase strengthened and then the unite move charge rate increased you're going to charge your unite move faster just like charizard so we're going to see these two a lot more i think here's the next one that i'm really excited about garchomp Defense and special defense increased. Rough skin adjusted the time between instances of this ability's effect triggering. Now, I played against a Garchomp yesterday and it literally tore my team to shreds. It is so powerful now. If you're just starting the game, I'll definitely get to grips with learning Garchomp. It is such a beast. Hard to learn, but if you do get to grips with it, I think you'll have a good time and win lots of matches because that thing. I've never seen something so low as Zapdos so fast in my life, so. <laughs> definitely if you have access to it get it and learn it because you'll definitely be a very big help in solo queue matches okay then here's what i'm very disappointed about greninja getting nerfed because i used to main this for my um, five stack team and uh yeah so attack and max hp decreased it's not going to do greninja any favors because it's not the bulkiest character anyway uh smoke screen fixed a bug causing smoke screen effect to trigger even before the move is upgraded double team improved the movement of the illusory copies so that might be good it might see double team come into it a bit more if smoke screen isn't as uh, effective now and then water shuriken fixed a bug affecting the decreased opposing pokemon's movement speed greninja's unite move adjusted the move to allow it to trigger more quickly so i say greninja's had a massive nerf it has been nerfed but it now gets its unite move quicker which is always helpful and then torrent attack increase weakened the next one then what everybody was crying out for wigglytuff getting nerfed max level special attack decreased pound damage out to opposing pokemon decreased dazzling gleam damaged out to opposing pokemon decreased and seeing fixed a bug affecting opposing pokemon put to sleep by this move now that's not it they'll still be put to sleep but i believe if they get hit by an attack they will wake up that is a big difference and will not make wigglytuff as annoying as it was before and then cute charm adjusted the time between instances of this ability's effect triggering okay then so cramorant cramorant again i read all through the Cerebi uh, update and patch list and I was a bit disappointed to see Cramorant getting a nerf because I did actually do really well in solo queue with Cramorant. I got like a 12 win streak. I was quite excited to use that this season but unfortunately it's been nerfed. It has had boosted its like basic attacks as it says there. Damaged out to opposing Pokemon increased. Surf. Damaged out to opposing Pokemon decreased. It's had a buff to dive so the cooldown's been reduced but dive is not where Cramorant really wants to be because it's going to it's not the bulkiest character anyway and you're going to be diving straight into the opposition so it's not the best move and then gatling gold missile damaged out to opposing pokemon decreased again so it's had quite a heavy nerf and it's quite disappointing because cramorant wasn't the best pokemon but yeah i don't know this attack's been basic attack's been buffed but the rest is, it just seems like it's been nerfed 
which is quite depressing, but never mind. I have to learn some new Pokemon because <laughs> Greninja and Cramorant, which I main, have been nerfed. Okay, Lucario then. I know there was a lot of calls for Lucario to get a bit of a nerf, so here we go. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased from power up punch. In close combat, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased, number of attacks increased. So, and then fixed a bug affecting this move damage. So Lucario hasn't had the hardest nerf if you're an extreme speed player, which I know a lot of you are. Uh, it won't hurt you too much here, but it won't hurt you at all, but it's just a power up punch players that it might hurt a little bit. There's always that extreme speed, which we know from watching the TTV tournament finals, uh, Lucario extreme speed is incredibly effective and it might just, everyone will be running that now. So, okay, then moving on, Lola Ninetales changed how the move deals damage after the blizzard hits an obstacle and it's just had bug fixes on its other stuff which is uh, not too interesting, but we know Ninetales is a beast anyway. Very strong Pokemon, so not much going on there. Eldegoss fixed a bug affecting the HP recovery when the move ends, and then Leaf Tornado improved the move effects and adjusted the move to match the feel of the controls. So I think that's been buffed, maybe, from what I'm reading there. Gardevoir boosted attack, so that's just fixed the bug affecting the damage, and then Psyshock fixed bugs. Gardevoir is an absolute beast. If you're just starting out on the mobile, another one that you want to get to grips with is Gardevoir. That Psyshock is such a burst damage move and can take out enemy teams with ease. It's so good. Okay, then Snorlax, Yawn, fixed a bug affecting opposing Pokemon put to sleep by this move. Again, I think that's the same as the Wiggly nerf. If it gets hit, but it will still put them to sleep. But if they get hit by an attack, they'll wake up instantly instead of staying asleep. Gengar Lick, fixed a bug that occurred when opposing Pokemon are pulled towards the user. Yeah, that was quite annoying. <laughs> and fixed the bug affecting the move's timing. Mr. Mind Barrier adjusted the move so that is when it is upgraded it refills its reserve uses to the maximum. And then Mr. Mime Guard Swap fixed the bug affecting the swapping of defense. Mr. Mime is such a good support character as well like I've never played it but I've played against it and it is such a beast like the Unite move is so annoying it just seems like it's immune to anything and does so much damage as well. Okay then, Crustle adjusted the Pokemon's contact area. Yeah, I noticed that when I was playing against Crustle, it could hit you and it didn't look like it was hitting you, so nice that that's been sorted out. Slowbro's basic attack fixed a bug causing both basic attack and boosted attacks to decrease the special defense of opposing Pokemon. Okay, Surf adjusted the area of effect. Machamp's Unite move fixed a bug with the shove effect, fixed a bug with the move being used on a super jump springboard. Interesting, I didn't know that's happening. Okay, another one, Blastoise. Oh man, Blastoise is still a beast, but fixed a bug causing attacks performed while spinning to decrease the movement speed of opposing Pokemon. Yeah, that was insane really, it's, Blastoise was so OP to start with. And then fix the bug, allowing the user to use either Hydro Pump or Water Spell at the same time as basic attacks while spinning. Yeah, it was overpowered. It definitely needed a slight nerf. It's still a beast, Blastoise, and still lays down a lot of damage. Played against it in every team last night. And yeah, so we're still going to see it. It's still very powerful, but it's not going to lay down quite as much damage as it did before because that was ridiculous and everyone was saying so. And then Wild Pokemon then, Reggie Gigas, as a balanced adjustment, added the following effect when this Pokemon is defeated. For a short time, your team's goal scoring speed increases and your team's goal becomes unblockable. Okay, so that'll be in the uh, quick play. Uh, Reggie Gigas is uh, the boss on one of those maps. I think on the 3v3 map, so not too much going on with Wild Pokemon. I personally was hoping they were going to give a nerf out to Zapdos, I don't know what everyone else was thinking. Our team, I must say, our 5 stack dominate a lot of matches, I'd say at least 80% of matches we dominate, and then another another team takes a Zapdos and then beats us. So it's very frustrating, I'm sure there's a lot of teams out there that are feeling the same. But yeah, let me know in the comment section actually what you think about that uh, Zapdos. Uh, how overpowered it is or if you think it's actually all right just uh i'll be interested here in the comments what you think and uh yeah so that's it from me everyone i hope you enjoyed this uh, informative video it's slightly different to my usual yeah i hope it, it's given a lot of the mobile players a bit of information and uh, a little kickstart into pokemon unite as always if you've enjoyed the content today please do smash that subscribe button stick a like on the video because that would really mean the world to me and i'll see you in the next one